So Luke Galan here from the YT624EG maintenance series and today we're going to take a look uh, both from viewers interests and mine as well at where the shear pins are on this snowblower, what they're called, what the shear pin kit contains, how to get the shear pins out um, and part of what I read on a forum is that these shear pins can tend to get uh, kind of seized into place through many many years because I haven't broken one yet knock on wood in f four years of service and so I think it's not a bad idea to take them all out now and then grease them put them back in at least so we know where they are where they are and also uh, they'll be greased which means they'll come out easy down the road so like with most other jobs we uh, take on on the snowblower we've got the owner's manual uh, in the owner's manual, page 53 and 52, we've got the auger shear bolts and the impeller shear bolts and how to change them. So on page 52, there's replacing the auger shear bolts. So here we see that there are four shear bolts that join the auger, two for the left, two for the right. Um, and then we see here their tightening torques are 10 newton meters for those lock nuts. Uh, and then on the other page we've got the impeller shear bolt which is right there at the back center and that lock nut is 15 newton meters so one thing I'm going to say and I know that a lot of people know this but there's still those that always want to go and try different the shear bolts need to be replaced with shear bolts that are designed for that application it's not meant to be replaced with any bolt so if we take a look at the kit like I've said in another video, it's Yamaha part 70-W0088-01. So if we open this, we see that we've got five washers. That's the first part number I read off. We've got five bolts. There's the part number there if you want it. So these actually look like fairly standard bolts, but if Yamaha calls them shear bolts, then they're shear bolts in my opinion. And then we've got the locking nuts that are here, which is not a nylock, but instead a different style of lock nut. So it's just 15 parts, three of each type. So that's what's contained within your sh uh, shear bolt kit. All right, so we're gonna take a crack at taking uh, the four auger bolts out. So I'm gonna start with the right side auger. It's got a 10 millimeter wrench and a 10 millimeter socket on both sides. Now the lock nuts don't really seem to have too much locking going on except right at the end of the threads. So, let's see now. Well, so there you go, so that shear bolt just popped out. Now we can do a shear bolt inspection here. Um, I see that the threads are just slightly damaged, but this shear bolt looks in good condition. Let's do the one on the back side. If we check it out, uh, I'd say it looks pretty healthy. Let's do now the right side auger. So taking the right side auger, we now use the socket on the other side. So final shear bolt, have a look. It looks good. Now let's try both augers. There we have it. So what we're gonna do is put the shear bolts back in, torque them up. So torque here is 87 inch pounds. We always do the torquing on the nut side, unless we are not able to. Okay, those are all torqued to 10 Newton meters. So we're gonna take a crack at the uh, impeller uh, shear bolt. The first four went well. So this one here, we're gonna need a deep socket, 10 millimeter and a 10 millimeter wrench. Just gonna get in there. Now, of course, when we're gonna be doing this, it's gonna be minus 32 Celsius. 
and we're gonna have a desperate need to get to work and there's gonna be an end of driveway monster so this one is a bit more annoying because it's all the way back here now ready to come out so there's no washer on the nut have a good look at that bolt and to me it looks very new still i've got no really need to put grease on this it looks like it just left the factory almost so if this would have been corroded and, and difficult for me to get out i would have then greased it now we can see that the impeller is completely free from the shaft so one of the observations looking at this impeller is you've got a bolt that came out of it that looks like this with a nut on the end and the impeller one side of it's got quite a big hole here for that spacer and the other side has a small hole where the nut's going to go so we then find where it goes into so once you find the hole and you've really got to get that aligned and there we have it so we put the nut on the end then we again use our deep socket and wrench we're going to tighten it to torque spec which is 15 newton meters and there we have it 131 inch pounds now one very odd observation i have here is that none of the bolts in that kit appear to fit in that location and that's not what i expected i'm going to get that part number uh, for you and list in the description below so again uh, thanks for watching the luke gallant yt624 ej maintenance series i hope you found this uh, shear bolt uh, walkthrough useful there are five shear bolts there are four auger shear bolts and one impeller shear bolt which we've now learned is not in the shear bolt kit and in any case all the shear bolt part number and kit numbers are going to be in the description uh, as well as the torque values for both uh, shear bolts. So again, if you like the video, please subscribe and uh, click like, and we'll have many more coming. Thanks.